So the first thing that I need to do in order to draw these Lego Stormtroopers is to get a sketch. And to do this, you can see here that I'm using something called the grid method. And this is basically where I put a grid onto my photograph and then the exact same grid in terms of like aspect ratio onto my piece of paper. So the grid on my photo here is about 1.3 times bigger. And what this does is it provides more reference points so I can really easily gauge where everything needs to go. And also breaks the subject up into like smaller, more digestible pieces, making it a lot easier than it is to like look at the whole subject as like the really complex thing that it is. So now here we're moving on to using alcohol markers and what I'm doing here is basically jotting in a base layer so just really establishing where all like the general tones and colors need to go so obviously on the shadow trooper here I'm using lots of dark cool grays so like the cool gray 9 the cool gray 7 the cool gray 4 as well and also in like the highlights you can see that I'm using like a pale blue and what this is doing is it's just bringing up that color saturation so it doesn't look really dull because something that can happen a lot of the times when you're working with like gray subjects is if you do just use like a load of grays and blacks and whites it can look really like meh but if you use some blues and stuff to show like a reflection from like the natural white light that you normally get it can really help make it pop and look a bit more realistic so again on this stormtrooper here just using a lot lighter grays obviously so like the cool gray ones twos threes even some fours in the shadows and obviously that black marker and some like darker blues in the shadows again and on the blaster here again really like some darker grays some cool gray nines and yeah pretty much the same thing as that shadow trooper from earlier so once I've done the marker base we can now move on to the absolute nitty-gritty bit of using the colored pencils to really bring it to life and with this I'm basically adding in all the details, bringing up the contrast. And on the blaster again, using lots of like dark indigos in the shadows. I'm using like something called the light cobalt turquoise in the highlights, just to add those blues again to bring up that color saturation. I'm really using lots of layers with this because what I'm using here is I'm using Faber-Castell polychromos. And what these are is they're an oil-based pencil, which means they layer really well. And what you want to be doing when drawing Lego is working in lots of layers because in the first layer, you basically pick up where all like the basic like shadows and stuff need to go. So really just kind of like exemplifying what's already down there from the marker base and then in the second layer with the pencils you can use like a lighter color to really blend it all together and this really smooths out all of that grain but obviously it reduces the contrast because you've just gone over it with a lighter color so everything becomes quite washed out so then you can come back in with those original colors to bring up that contrast add in more details and working in all these different layers means that you can like you don't have to like pick up on everything in like just one go you can like work your way through it and then just pick up on loads of different stuff in different layers so it's less overwhelming so again on this um, stormtrooper here using some lighter blues as well and using lots of of layers as we just discussed and again keeping all my pencils really nice and sharp here as well to make sure that everything's really nice and crisp and really layering on this clone trooper because I did find that using the grays it was looking quite grainy so I was doing lots of pencil work and I'd go really over it with a white pencil just to really blend it and create really nice and um, smooth gradients between all the different tones and again on the blaster so coming down to the feet here again so kind of the same story as well looking quite grainy so I'm really using that white pencil to blend it all together and that's really kind of like why the white pencil so important it's almost like the blender for it and then I'm, I'm rubbing out the lines the grid lines and then just adding in some shadows at the bottom of the feet here now if you have enjoyed this video please consider hitting that subscribe button and I shall see you in the next one which should appear somewhere on screen around about now